you saying people only have two legs? Oh, but how did I get this leg? No, 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 wait, I'm, I'm trying to recall. of the left cabin has been flooded, as well as 75% of the right cabin. The ship cannot survive such a ferocious storm. Timekeeper, we should get ready for evacuation. Hmm. Prepare the teleport soft disk. Wait, what are you talking about? Are we going to abandon the ship? These are just some breezes and ripples. Won't last longer than a blink of an eye. Just hold on to the wheel and we'll... Hmm. That sounds like the turbine just cracked. Great. So only two minutes left. A true captain will never abandon her ship. I've sworn to live and die with Rockin' Apple, the second of its name. Then why is it the second? Damn it. Sotheby just bought us this ship. I wrecked my brains to think of all the assurances I could give to get that governess off my back. I think it's better for us to embrace the fact that all things would come to an end, Captain. Sometimes, deserting is to leave for another battlefield. ended up like this in the middle of the timekeeper we have an emergency the teleport soft disk can't be activated i've tried other contingency teleport incantations but none of them worked in this area neither did the communicator it's as if something is jamming the signal i see i have a question for you Sonato. Please, Timekeeper. Hmm. In the field mission evacuation instructions, apart from the part about asking the Timekeeper for help, is there anyone else we can reach out to for rescue? Uh, seriously, Virgil. <laughs> What's going on now? This is a trap! And you are behind all this? It is you who played that nonsense travel note from 1999? And lured us into this random sea in order to torture us, afflict us, and now feed us to the fish! Go ahead, give us the wicked villain laugh, you manus mole! Quit playing innocent here! I... I don't know. I mean no harm. <laughs> nice try. See what else you got to say when this pirate opens your battery cover and finds Maiden Manners there. Please, do not shake me. 
If... if I broadcast how to clean kitchen appliances for you now, will it brighten up your mood? Like hell it will! Can't you see? My ship is going down! Along with my record collection and your battery cover to the bottom of the sea. For good! Even John Lennon can't do anything about it now! I'm terribly sorry. I can't see. I could only touch, hear, and imagine. How about this program? Lesson 101, the express route to heaven one shouldn't miss. I think it would serve you better. Oh! Uh, I can't stand this anymore. My records, my Dr. Peppers, my pirate radio, my rockin' apple the second! For crying out loud, what have I done to deserve this? Well, she did try her best to pick music. Though no one is in the mood, I think this piece is not bad. As to Regulus's question, we need to slightly twiddle this knob to 1913. This is... The official letter of appointment from the Foundation. Congratulations, Burton. After the long evaluation period and the re-examination, the storm reformation, manpower, and discipline has been officially approved by the PAC's Security Council. Team Timekeeper is now a legitimate, independent department. You are now granted a more flexible autonomy and independent budget. What was that? Did you say budget? Does that mean the Foundation will buy, uh, uh, assign me a new ship? Unfortunately, independent means doesn't rely on others. I can apply for a ship for you, but it's not guaranteed. Oh, misers. Fine. Not that I wanted an obsolete ship painted in grey a shepherd check. However, the price of passing that bill is to let the Foundation keep its authority to discipline unregistered Arcanists. The Arcanists who have been and will be assigned to the Timekeeper's team will be put through a risk assessment procedure carried out by the Foundation. Those who are in lower risk categories only need to receive primary artificial subnebulism training, while the high risk ones will go to the School of Discipline. But I will make sure they will be registered as members of Team Timekeeper when they enroll. I see. I have only one question. Are you still our point of contact for the Foundation, Madam Z? Yes, of course. Then I have no further questions. Meanwhile, Team Timekeeper can apply for secondment from the Foundation, Laplace, and Xeno, if necessary. You can check this file for more details.
He stays the same. Keep investigating the storm and manage when dictate. You can make your own plans of action. The Foundation only needs a monthly report on the result. You're the first in command, Burton. Okay. You already have a target, I assume. That base the Manus used to keep its elite house four years ago. It has never been reversed by the storm. I'd like to investigate that place again. <laughs> so you've been there many times. Well, that'd make a good start for Team Timekeeper. I'll arrange for some people to meet you at the base. <laughs> I think you'll have a great time together. The fog is thick here. <laughs> it used to be the nest of a leety house, a kind of creature resting in valleys with abundant water resources. What's more, it's winter now. I have to be the errand girl. The Foundation wasn't even planning to give me a ship. Miss Sonetto is going through the procedures in the headquarters to transfer herself to Team Timekeeper. Mastruvis and Sotheby are on a break, for they have spent much time and energy clearing the woods and repairing the Foundation Square. Miss Lilia has been given an administrative penalty because she broke into the rehabilitation center not long ago. This leads us to the current situation, where only the captain and this apple are able to act freely. What? So in the end, was I, the renowned rocking pirate, the only one who didn't cause any damage to the foundation buildings? Ugh! I have never felt so humiliated in my life! You're not planning on destroying this place now, are you, Regulus? No, no. Huh? Hey, see who's here! Lilia and a stranger. What took you so long? Fell into a gutter. Hello, timekeeper. My name is Moisson. My employee ID is SF2760219190823 x I believe Madame Z has told you about me. I am now an official member of your team. Miss Morson, welcome to the team. Madame Z said you're an excellent tutor in Arcanum. She's too kind to say so. In fact, I have a lot to learn from you. Also, thank you for taking good care of Miss Sotheby. Hold on, you know Sotheby? According to Madame Z, Miss Morson used to be Sotheby's private teacher. It is a long story. Let Miss Lilia give us an introduction to the base first. As the field operator, she knows this place better. <laughs> After I got promoted and transferred to the headquarters, those exciting outbound missions have been removed from my schedule. In short, although it's called the base, the only place unaffected by the storm is a narrow, 20 meter long corridor no larger than a hunter's lodge. 
My former fellows had already searched this place from top to bottom. Those Laplace dudes had even sent in their lap dogs to search here inch by inch. Found nothing but some excrement of the Alitius and the dog's own poop. There might be some clues that are invisible. Regulus is a specialist in optical arcane skills. Maybe she can find something. A specialist? <laughs> well... I'll take that as a compliment. But, for the record, compared to searching, hiding treasures is more of a pirate's lot. So, if it were up to me to hide treasures in this place... Please hold on for a second, Captain Regulus. The fog seems abnormally thick. the jackpot right away. Hmm. There shouldn't be any ambush in this place. Easy, Miss Regulus. Please carefully retreat to my side. Miss Timekeeper, please cover us. Hold your horses. I'm coming. Wait! Give me ten more minutes. Wow! So many things that I haven't seen! Plan A and B. An unconventional choice. Exactly.
Hold on, hold on. It was a misunderstanding, Timekeeper. We attacked to defend ourselves. We are not the enemy. We are the investigators from the Foundation. These are our IDs. The base has been deserted long ago, right? What's the purpose of the investigation now? The outside world has been reversed to 1913. We are here to collect the lost scientific devices from the 1970s. Science and technologies are regressing rapidly due to the storm. Those old devices which used to be outdated have become valuable to us. I see. Do you mind us investigating this place? It won't be long. Sure. We are glad to give you a hand if you need it, Timekeeper. Good. I have some questions about the base, and I wonder if you may help. <sighs> so it was just a mistake. Back to treasure hunting now? Let's see what Zeno and Laplace have left here. Infrared shotgun. Oh, Magalev auto feeder. Kato calibrator. Oh, my God! And a full box of Laplace's military chocolate. Burton, come check it out. This is all good stuff. Solid MREs. Ahem, this pirate with a heart of gold wouldn't mind tasting it for you. I don't mean to rain on your parade, but even dogs won't eat those things. It makes Alitia's excrement smell better in comparison. That being said, to the best of this apple's knowledge, canine animals shouldn't have consumed any food which contains theobromine anyhow. Um, then can I have it or not? There is nothing to be worried about, since the captain is not an animal of the Canaday family. Well said, as befits the first mate of mine. Wait a second, Regulus. Show me the thing in your arms. Why? What do you want? Feel like my chocolate now? No, the supply box. It has my name on it. Oh, true. Are there any other Vertin in the Foundation? As far as I know, no one is called by that name but me. Looks like an ordinary wooden box, but these ordinary boxes are always the most dangerous. Hmm, so, turns out we did find something useful in this treasure hunt. It even has Vertin's name on it, like a celebrity autograph. A treasure indeed. Regulus, wait, don't... No one can stop a pirate from opening her fresh trophy! News of the day. The outcasts held the 11,231st pep rally in the Mammoth Cave, Kentucky. They eventually unanimously passed the principle of dozing in spring, relaxing in summer, slacking off in autumn, and hibernating in winter. 
Practical Modern Incantations has now been reissued for the 77th time. We are now at the end of the 20th century. This book still remains the number one book on the list of most regretful purchase on classic score by the New Yorker. Biographer Erd has recently published her latest travel notes, Roaming in a Peyron, which has started a new round of craze for traveling in the Aegean Sea region. The chief editor of The Voice of the Millennium strongly recommends this book, praising it to be the literary reproduction of the romantic, elegant, and classical dreams, a glimpse at the golden era. Among them, criticisms abound. The Babylonian Review issued a warning that the author's observation of the Apollo star was fatally inaccurate. Self-driving tourists can easily get lost in the Gorgon Current backwash if they do not correct their direction by 3.14 degrees on the Ford Sextant Model T. Time for late night news. What? End of the 20th century. Voice of the Millennium. Is this radio broadcasting news in 1999? Just as I suspected. Since Timekeeper hasn't reported the time of this era to the Foundation, you two, as the Foundation's investigators, shouldn't have known what year this is. In such pouring rain, time is the best proof of identity. Ha! Huh. I get it. Not a bad plot. Miss Morzon, watch your six. Let us help you. first wow so many things that i haven't seen you're in as expected it's happening
Everything has its cause and effect. Didn't expect them to be clever enough to disguise themselves as a Foundation's investigators. They sure have learned a thing or two. The era of 1929 only lasted for two days. The frequent change of time muddles work and responsibilities in the Foundation, which in turn caused some chaos within it. Luckily, Miss Morzon noticed the signs of it at the beginning. Timekeeper? Please take a look at this box. I'm afraid this is what they came here for. This is... The Manus Marsh they used to stay immune to the storm. I take it. I must have picked up an extra leg from the sea. But I don't remember which one is mine. Not to mention that I've picked up more than one leg. <laughs> 